Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we found out that our boy Jaboon, the bearer of Nehru's Pearl, show you this real quick. If I could go to the this stuff. We have bombs now too, by the way. We have Ferrore's Pearl, I think that's how you say that. Din's Pearl. We need one more in order to progress the game, which we don't have it yet. So that's where we're going to be headed. But we were told by one of the Rito Messengers that we need one more. And if you like Rito Messengers and hanging out with our boy Jaboon, I'm going to be saying that a lot today, so get used to it. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. I am going to be working towards putting together a... Like, comment, subscribe animation, or I will steal one. Alright, so it doesn't look like Beetle has anything fun for us. Although I think I might have gotten the order of operations wrong. Yeah, because the mailbox is a jiggle wiggle. Thank you, boat. So Tetra gave us a little bit of a head up that we can meet with Jaboon, and we can get his pearl before the pirates get to it. It's almost like she's secretly working with us. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna show you something really quick before we leave Windfall. There are other things that you can do, but I'm not going to do them because I think the game kind of locks you out of them temporarily while you are doing this part. So now that we can talk to this boy, the Potions Master, we can use our Chew Jellies that we have accumulated. And in doing so, we can trade them in for potions. So, if you go into your... No. If you go in... Use your... I think it's green? Use your green chew jellies. Give them to this boy. Oh! That's it. Not really rare at all, actually. But, you know. We have inspired him. Oh! Do you ever make that sound, viewers? And why? Share in the comments below. 15? Oh, is it 15? Oops. Anyway, if you do that, if you bring 15 green chew jellies then you can get yourself a green potion if you're into that. But we don't ever take damage, so we wouldn't really need one. So, Although I think that's the potion that you use for uh, magic. I don't know. I'm an idiot. So here we go. We just got a letter from Beetle. So now that we have stolen bombs from the pirates, who have stolen the bombs from the bomb shop, we have secondhand stolen... We can now buy them from Beetle, hooray! And now if you ever want to find Beetle all around the Great Sea, you can do that. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what that looks like. This is usually the part of the game where if I was playing casually, you know, pure cash, I just wouldn't care. But here you go. So here's where Beetle is. Uh, one of those Beetles looks not like the other. I don't know what that means exactly, but he does look very goofy with that Spartan helmet. Okay, so, as we were told, to not jump off the dock the wrong way, as we were told... Ooh, I'm actually curious about something. You know how I, I said that there was this hidden chest over there? I think I can get to it, but I, I guarantee that's going to be one of those moments where the moment I do go for it, it's, like, full of rupees, and I don't... You know, I, I clearly don't need rupees right now, so... We're doing pretty good. No. We are headed home to Outset Island. So, obviously, um, we want to go... Stop it. Quit. Yeah, we have a long sailing ahead of us. But that's what the swift sail's for. Makes it a lot quicker. So now you can hear me babble. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing well. Feeling a lot better. Getting back into the swing of 
a normal posting schedule. Of course, I wouldn't want to delay any of my content for all of you beautiful humans. You deserve a break today. And what better way to do so than listening to me say stupid crap on the internet? So, one thing that you will notice, if you haven't already, and something that I probably should have been doing from the beginning, although I don't really know how robust this system was about three years ago when I started making this content for this channel, but uh, I made a YouTube short the other day for Mario, and it was fun. It seems like it's doing well if I'm looking at the numbers now, although it's really hard to tell because I feel like YouTube shorts in general are very misleading. I went to a work development conference and I learned that basically you can get what is considered a view on a YouTube short literally just by having the video on your on your phone or tablet or whatever your mobile device so that just that that, that to me doesn't really feel great that it's like oh how many views do you have it's like oh, I got a billion views like but how many of those were people that actually were intending to watch your video and they weren't just swiping out of it but it does tell you that it does tell you how many people Saw your content and were like, gross. I don't want that. Obviously, the big thing that you need to be focusing on when it comes to that stuff is retention. Retention is obviously a big old deal. That's how you get new friends to come watch your channel. But it does disappoint me a little bit that, you know, I'm not going to pretend that the content I make is some highbrow crazy intense production value stuff. I'm not gonna lie and make myself sound like I'm somebody who is this big game YouTuber who deserves all the attention and blah, whatever. What I'm trying to make is that it's so easy, or easier, I shouldn't say easy, it's easier to gain a following just by making a YouTube short, which took me no time at all. Ooh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of monies over there. So if you need money, go to the the whatever, whatever. All right, we're almost home. That's enough of me just absolutely blabbing your ears off. Yeah, it just I don't know. It kind of disappoints me. I mean, if my content actually did take a lot of time to make, I would be even more annoyed. But you know, realistically, it doesn't take me a ton of time. I, I mean, I do put a lot of effort and value into what I do, but. Someday you will see me do probably some sort of like a video essay or like a little mini doc on this channel or maybe I'll make a new one. I don't know. I don't know. Stay tuned for that. But obviously YouTube shorts are the way of the future because apparently the world's attention span has collectively shrunk down to 15 to 30 seconds. Also, that is not where I was and the game definitely teleported me here. The curse of Val that Valu. Did Valu say that? The never ending night. Is this Game of Thrones? Might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown. Okay. I mean, we haven't seen our grandma for months. So maybe this is a good time. I don't know. We can talk to her. I mean, if we have to. Boo. No, we should talk to grandma. Show some respect to your elders, especially the ones you love. All right, let's go see how grandma's doing. She probably needs a pick-me-up. Grandma, hello? Oh! Oh no, she's in her feels. She doesn't look like she's doing very well. Huh. I wonder if maybe we could get her some medicine? I think we can pull that off. Usually, when you're not feeling well, something that can help you. Oh, that pig is gigantic. That was not that big when we were here. <laughs> wow. That thing has certainly grown quite a bit. I'm impressed. That's a big honker. Alright. 
So we're gonna go and get Grandma a fairy. She needs a little bit of TLC. Oh, there's Chews on the island. If you want to get a green potion, there's a good place to get them. No blue chews though. That's for that's safe for podcasts. All right. So I don't know. I think I can get a fairy up here. If I can't, then we are not progressing that part of the story because I am not gonna go get one unless I have to. I think this is optional, but you know, nobody wants to see their grandma in dire straits. You know, unless you hate your grandma. Like if your grandma was Hitler or something, then I could totally understand. Okay, so we can't get up there. Um, I don't remember. What do you think you're doing, Mr. Pervert? What are you talking about? Oh, way over there. Yeah, we don't. That's something for later, I think. And I don't think that we can get. Ooh, I do need some more magic. I don't think that we can do anything until we get that fairy, because I don't have one. It would be kind of wild if I just did. Wasn't paying attention, then off screen I'm like, oh hey, I have this now. No, that's okay. We're actually going to go and waste the magic that we just collected. Because I am lazy and I don't feel like getting down the normal way. So we're going to fly. Although this is incredibly slow, so... Oh boy. I mean, as soon as I can, I'm gonna abandon ship here. Is it gonna show me? There it is. See, and I definitely hit the button beforehand. Just shattered Link's femurs. All right, so another place that we spent some time in, if you remember, is where we got our sword. This is our boy, Orca. Very cool. Well, I'm sorry, excuse me. I mean, it's not my fault, jeez. I mean, we are the hero of time, so. I would say that it's not unreasonable for us to be more brave, but we can show you our skills. There's also a technique that you can get here if you have, I think they're Knight's Crest, but we don't. All right. Hey, 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 hey. We have to hit him a hundred times, it's not gonna happen. That's a good start. Whoop. Okay, well that's one hit. <laughs> Come on, old man. Definitely trying to do the parry attack where I actually, uh... Okay, this is going very well. As you can, as you can tell. How about a restart? Restart? I cannot talk. All right, so we're not good at blowing, so what? We can try again. This is a value. It would help if I was paying attention. Oh, I guess I have to talk to him first. He doesn't want to just start fighting right away. Of course we do. Very, very cool. Okay, so trying to parry and getting out of the way is probably better than what I was doing. That seems to be good. I was pretty much holding the control stick just the absolute wrong way. I think if you stay out of his range, you, you're in pretty good shape. And then if you do that, I guess, 
and maybe rinse and repeat. We have to hit him a hundo times, which is fun. I'm only going to show this one more time, so if I screw this up, you will just see the results of my intense training that I've undergone. And I apologize if you can hear me just wailing on these buttons here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Can you get out of the pots, please? I'm trying to beat up a senior citizen. Alright. And there's probably, like, an ultimate prize. Like, I guarantee, like, once you get to, um... Like, we're going, we're going for 100 here. I think that unlocks the something or other. And so once we get to that number... Oops. This is not good. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know if it changes his attack pattern once you get to a certain point, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to do more than a hundo right here. This is kind of the apex of my abilities, I think. Alright, nice. Almost there. I mean, that's pretty good. You can just take a whack at us. Boop! Right in the head. 100 is fine. I think you get a heart piece if you get 500. But, you know, I'm not super worried about it. But we're no longer a page. Now we are a knight. We've been upgraded one class. And we get a purple rupee, so... Very exciting. You can do this as many times as you want to. You just get money and then 500 will get you a heart piece. But I'm not, you know, not super worried about that. If you come back with 10 knights crests, I think you do get the... How many do we have? Yeah, we only have one. I think you get those from Moblins. If you come back with 10... Then at that point, you can go and get, it's a special move. I believe that's what my notes say. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. One of the things I do think I would like to do before I get too excited, um, I think we're just going to, progress the quest today. I think that that kind of feels the smartest thing to do. Gotta get back in the boat. Where's the boat at? There's also a ton of like, if you wanted to go and do any sort of like side quests in the meantime, I think you can while you're waiting, but you know, I'm not, I'm not really about that. We got, we got a gigantic jaboon. We gotta search search our backside for a big old whale. Whale, whale, whale. We're just gonna do a little searchy search on the island. Don't mind us. Yeah, there's plenty of things you can do. Plenty of little side quests and such if you're into that. But for now, we got a story to do. We gotta bring it all the way. Why are we not oh, moving? We gotta bring it all the way around town. But first, we have been accosted by a wall. All right, so we need to blow this up. The game is having a heck of a time with the <laughs> with the frame rate. Holy smokes, it was like nope. I'm having a little bit of difficulty in aiming because I am a million miles away from where the wall is. We need to start firing these bombs here. So we can blow this up and go see our boy Jaboon. Apparently this wall takes a billion hits. Which is fun. This is great. Isn't this great content, viewers? There we go. Please tell me that's the whole wall and I have to do this. Oh my god. Okay. You know, that. what better way to... To move the game forward than to have this happen. I think I was, even though I was aiming at the entirety of the wall, I think it was only really giving me credit. Oh, I'm running out of bombs. All right, well, maybe it was giving me credit for more. I was a little salty there for a second. A little salty Celine Dion. All right, so that gets rid of 
the perpetual whirlpool, and we can go and finally meet our boy, Jaboon. Very exciting. Oh! This looks like the pool at a YMCA. <gasps> there he is, there's Jaboon! There's our boy Jaboon, there he is, speaking all Jaboonies. Burr, burr, burr. The king of red lines, of course. Speaks whatever this is. He is going to carry on a one-sided conversation that if you want to translate this, there's probably some sort of a alphabet guide out there for you. I don't know it. But I bet if you Google it, you'll find it real fast. But we are being kind of hyped up right now. King of Red Lines is really pumping our tires. Really putting some wind in our sails. It's the only way. I like that he has a little lantern at the top of his weird forehead tentacle. I don't know what that is. Is he supposed to be like an angler fish? I have no idea. That's kind of what they look like. But we need that pearl boy. He's like, here, it's yours. Ooh, that was not a very smooth animation. It was a little herky-jerky. <gasps> we got it! Thanks, Jaboon. That was easy. We didn't really have to do anything special. You know, we didn't have to go through an entire dungeon or cheer up a sad little bird boy. Help a tree. We didn't have to do any of that. He's just like, all right, here you go. Just blew up your, uh, blew up your entry with your house. Okay, this is great. This is good uh, story development. Are you enjoying yourself, viewers? We're gonna need all these pearls, though. He just very casually dips under the water. Like, that would raise the water level so high and would probably completely murder us. So we broke Ganon's purse. Purse? Curse? Wow. We broke uh, Ganon's messenger bag. But we have all the pearls now. So, viewers, are you ready for spaghetti? Once we have united the pearls with their resting places, we can open up the next dungeon. Spoilers! You don't want to have any regrets later. But yeah, now that you do that, that officially clears up the storm that's been on the island. We also used a ton of our bombs. So I'm actually going to go buy the... Buy some, because we... Need him? What does one buffalo say to his child? Bye, son. Okay. So, I'm gonna check my spoils bag. We have two hoi pairs and we've got more bait. We don't really need to get any more of that. Oh! And apparently, Beetle knows about our relationship. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Thanks, bud. We can buy 30 bombs. Why not? We have so many rupees. No reason not to. Actually, I might buy that other Hoi pair. Just one more. <laughs> you little imp. Wow, that's rude. Don't you watch your mouth. The customer's always right. Not the the bull haircut. Puppet man is always right. The absolute opposite of that. Okay. So let's look at our map really quick. And see kind of what... The King of Red Lines is talking about. So we have these three areas now. These are where the three pearls will be deposited. And then once we do that, we will be able to open up the next dungeon. But do you know what would be a lot more fun than going and doing that? More side quests. Not a ton. Not a ton, I promise. But the reality is that there are a few goodies out there that I think would be really beneficial, especially because going into another dungeon, there's a high chance that we are going to be encountering a larger accumulation. Oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. <laughs> a larger accumulation of money. And 
I don't personally want to have to forego having more money. So we're going to we're going to fix that and then we will go ahead and take care of that. I'm going to go ahead and grab a ferry off screen for grandma and I'm also going to do the 500 hits on Orca which gets us another piece of heart. So I'm going to take care of both of those things off screen just because it would be very tedious to see and pointless. I will we'll we'll wrap up with grandma before we leave, but I'm going to go and whoop on Orca's old behind. That sentence should never be said again. And uh, then I'll see you in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been the Wind Waker HD, the Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker HD. And I'll see you the next time for more with Grumpy Face Link. Bye.